Welcome to Beauties, you beauty. Let's go. You just wonder, because there was that article that came out from that woman in Toronto that doesn't earn, just need one second of airtime no. from us, but um, who who said that the metals are cheap and whatever. But it it raises the argument of where are where is funds and what's happening in these other countries to actually get to the point where it's not always a Canada U.S. final mm-hmm. because when we were chatting before, like sweet uh, Finland, yeah, they are a better team than what they presented in yeah. this Olympics. Like they are, and any hockey fan knows that, and mm-hmm. any hockey fan knows that the best goalie in the world was left off of that roster. Yep. Yeah, we talked about that where we felt in the last, if you even want to look back at the last Olympics, it was a very different podium. Oh, yeah. And it felt like, to your point, that the tables were starting to turn where we were going to have a a more um, common four mainstays, right? In, in Canada, U.S., Sweden, and Finland, that would kind of be that top battle instead yeah. of just this Canada-U.S. rivalry. And then we come into 2022 Olympics. I'm sorry, Sweden was non-existent. Yeah. And like you say, Finland did not bring their best team. Right. Like <laughs> that is that has got to be one of the biggest highlights. I don't want to say highlight, but one of the biggest conversations we have to talk about is how did Nora Ratti not yeah. make it? To, to the Olympics there, we all know something must have happened behind the scenes mm-hmm. where there was maybe a little bit of turmoil between her and the coach. But at the point, at that point, you, she is the, in my opinion, one of like top three yeah. goalies in the world. Yep. She deserves to be there. She deserves to be there. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Because- like you have to put your, Sorry to keep interrupting because I'm just so fired up about it. It's like you have to put your ego aside. Like yeah. she was by f- – she should have been there because she's there. Finland has a way different showing. Agreed. No, no, no disrespect to the goalies that are in Finland right now, but Nora Raddy is the – she's a premier goalie. Yeah. She no. needed to be there. She needed to be there. 100% needed to be there. And then so when you talk about this – uh Czech goalie, uh, uh, Peslarova. There you go. Um, that plays in Moto in Sweden, four goals on fifty nine shots, and then you have, you know, Switzerland turn around and get three goals on Canada. Canada yeah. You know, like there, there is talent out there, and it's like as soon as we, yeah, these countries need to invest at the same level, right, to promote that, right? Yeah, because there are Canadian players that are in Moto um, mm-hmm. that are playing. You know that. We know from here, Erica Reeder, JC Magwood, these players are going over there and they are training like pro athletes. They are doing those things, but that's yep. a club team. That's not a nat, that's not an international program. That's a club team yep. who has a very successful men's program associated with it in Moto Sweden. So it's like we there's a miss somewhere. There's a it's exactly right. There's a yeah. miss somewhere in these international programs where somebody like like Nora being left off of Finland would be like us not taking Sidney Crosby. Well, you're right though. When you look at it as like a, a, um, a national icon. Oh, hundred percent. Sorry, Mary Philip Poulin. I don't like your, I didn't like the way you were responding. doesn't like it today. So we're not taking it. We're not going to take you. It doesn't make any sense. It it's truly, but also as the federate, like as your governing body from hockey Finland or whatever they call themselves, like at what point does someone step in and say, "Um, Whoa. (laughs) Maybe the coach should go. That's a miss. Yeah, I don't know. No, for sure. We could, I could go on for days about that because that just is is absolutely crazy to me. So it's um, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to watch the final of the Olympics here. 